knew Martin because we, my wife and I, just, we've had a lot of properties down here and we moved from one to the other. And we yin yang between oldie worldy cocooning to modern spatial glass and oak. And each time we've gone to Martin and within a week we've sold them. So I think, oh, he's a great guy. And then he said, what would you do with our offices if I asked you to do it? And I said, raise the ceiling and make everything in it ecologically good. So very good efficient lighting, reduce the size of the walls, heighten the ceiling, painting an interesting colour and use glass where you can from the windows and oak and try to have natural materials. So for example the lampshades are silk, 100% from Italy and all of the energy reduced its energy bill by 60% from running a big place like this. So it was a complex assignment because it was about any redu energy reduction and at the same time to have an impactful place to work where instead of people being office bound they could all talk to each other and that made a big difference because you have the community now and the community is now you can see for yourself the goodwill that comes up and the working together is to continue to use the building for the arts of life because that's what people come down here for. They love to paint, they love the poetry, they like their music and they like good food and above all good wine and you get all this here. So that's that's what this was about. A long time ago Martin said to me I want you to make me a coffee table book. So we set about that and we instantly uh, during the winter went out to photograph places about that we were going to write about or I was going to write about because it's a personal walk of East Sussex and Kent by me looking out as an artist at what I can see with a little bit of history and he said well what about the buildings that we can't photograph why don't you do paintings on them so I painted buildings or streets that you can't photograph because there are trees in the way or builders vans or they're just too narrow in the street so I painted them as if you were a long way back in other words they're architecturally accurate but they're very emotional because I lived here for a while and I understand the place I've often looked at photographs and pictures of mine and felt that they didn't convey that esoteric feeling that you get when you're in this place it's like a diamond on a hill it's, it's, it's just magical that's the word I'd use so I hope that I've painted the pictures in a magical way and that's a couple of the people tonight said oh they're just magical like that they have a blink of the eye so I, I know I've got through to people the coffee table book is about the standards that Martin wants to work to better photography more interesting snapshots of other things around make sure that the the layout and the general feel is more evocative than you'd normally get in a state agent's window so the idea is to keep that standard up and give a good rendition of a building from inside out and to give it if, it, if it is a cocooning, idyllic olden country, then let's show that. From Camber down to Pet Level and the seafront in Hastings and Bexhill and to see what's happening in Folkestone and Dover, there has been a shift and in an interest in unique properties which have a great view of the sea. To me, that's where I'd like to live myself. I'd like to open the door and run into the sea. And I think that has a, a, a character is uh, probably going to give someone a home or a place to work when they don't have to go in the office every day using you know new and modern communication you can work on a deck chair on the sand and nip in for a wine and a cup of tea if you want to and that's to me is what would happen i think people you know i i would say this don't get middle if you don't want to be in the town get on the coast